In my last video about the Mini OSC, I talked about all the mistakes that I made on version 2.0. I've already addressed all of those on KiCad, and now the PCBs for version 2.1 are here. I also went ahead and built it. I've tested it already and it works great. The panel hole for the button now has enough clearance for it to move freely. The trim pot does not stick out of the side anymore. And the pots for the pulse width and PWM are now in the right place. I redid the circuit drawings and the layout for the last version from the ground up, so mistakes were inevitable. And I'm not surprised that I had to make this new revision. I sort of expect it at this point. So if this happens to you, don't get discouraged. One tiny mistake that I introduced in this new version though is that I left the default label for the artwork. So it got printed in the actual PCB. I should have turned off the visibility of this label before I had it printed. I already fixed it on the files that I've shared. Speaking of sharing, you can now have your own copies of Mini OSC version 2.1 through PCBWay's shared project page. PCBWay has sponsored this project along with other Eurorack projects that I've made in the past. You can go to my shared project page on PCBWay's website and order my designs directly from them. For the Mini OSC, you can even have it pre-assembled using their PCB assembly service. Last time I tried it, I only had to provide my own 3.5mm jacks. That was the only thing that they couldn't source. Of course, you can also order bare PCBs if you already have the parts. Thank you PCBWay for supporting my channel. As always, I'm releasing this project as fully open source. You can find my documentations for it on my website. You can also find all of my files on GitHub. I also took the time to prepare an interactive bill of materials for it. There, you can scroll through all of the components and, and locate it on the board. I also added links to where you can buy each part to help you out with sourcing. Most of them I get either from Mouser or from Teda. I guess that would be it for now for Mini OSC. If you'd like to support what I do, please consider donating through Coffee. As always, let me leave you with a jam that I made using the module. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.